So it's what six o'clock. We're in Austin Airport. Six o'clock is it? Come six over this way. Right? Yeah, it's six o'clock. Twelve. Twelve hours from now, we'll be in Chile Chico. No, no. Twelve hours from now, we'll be in Santiago. Yeah. And we've got another twelve hours to get to. Actually, fourteen hours of a ferry, four-wheel drive, and bus to, to get, get to the to, trailhead. No, no. To get just to the hotel in Chile Chico. Then we spend the night in Chile Chico. And take the, it's about a three hour. So it's a two day travel just to get down It's there. two day, yeah, yeah. The, the, we're wearing our best fashionable clothes so we can throw them away at the hotel and put our. Put a shop. So we can throw them away and then we can move on. In the meantime, our backpacks are under the thing. And we've got nothing but trail clothes and toothbrushes in our bag. So off to the trailhead we go. Bye. It is 6.15 in the morning and we are up and about and about to do the thing. We're in a little hotel and. Chili Chico. I'm gonna get picked up here. See, Karen's all ready to to get up and go. We're packed, and uh, I'm still sleepy, but it should be good. Bye. Well, it's morning. It's very dark underneath. We can see. I don't think you can. They can even see you. Maybe they can. I think you're too close now. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it says hotel, and our ride is on the way somewhere. The chickens are up, but we seem to be the only thing else besides the chickens, so <laughs> waiting for our ride to come. Oh well. So we're here. we're here. Say hello. 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 We, uh, how, we're how, getting ready to start. I've got my gloves out. It's a little chillier than I thought. Yeah, once we get moving though, it'll be nice and warm. But he we're start at the very beginning. It's seven something now. We have to wait a few minutes, the park ranger said. Okay, here goes Jay, beginning of the hike. We... All right, Lago Hinnemann. Oh, eight o'clock on the first morning. We've taken, well, it took us, uh, oh, well, it's six o'clock in Austin. It took us 36 hours to get here, I guess, total. Three airplanes, two buses, a ferry. A train and a uh, Uber. So. I'm sure it'll warm up when the the sun comes up, but it's it's something special. It's so quiet. So we ended up in a place called Valle Hermosa, and let me just go 360 here. It is uh, beyond stunning. It's really pretty and really quiet. And that is 360 degrees. And there's Karen in her super trendy footwear, along with 
mine. Jay, say hi. Hello. He's putting on his uh, waders. We've got a little bit trickier water crossing to go over. Yep, let's give it a shot. So he's going to get ready to go. Okay, I'm going to leave it to you to check this out, make sure we're done. Okay. All right, I'm unhooked here. Phone's good. Down is all dry. Ready to go. Okay, go it. on. He already kind of scouted it out, and we've determined that this point is a little bit better than the one up there where we were with our packs. <laughs> it's chilly. Water looks like he's moving pretty good, too. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad as up there. That 10 yards up sucked. Just go slow. Yeah, take a look at this lake. Unbelievable. That color. It's like my father's Thunderbird from 1956 or something. Oh my gosh. What a treat after that huge climb we did. That climb was, I was hating that climb, but it was definitely worth it. I guess we're headed down to the flat end and into the runoff over there. Yep. Oh my gosh. That's stunning. I don't know if you can see them. Jay, can you show them all these caterpillars? Or yeah. Hard to see. Well, we got an invasion of caterpillars. These black. Everywhere. Yeah, they're. Hopefully, they're only up high. Let's go back and back down now. Pretty, come on. Pretty good downs, huh? They are really steep. It's actually steeper going down than Vermont was. I think so. Through it's true glacier water. It's freezing, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh well, let's get across this one and one more, one we got it. Well, water. there's a pink pole straight ahead over there, so okay. we'll head for that. We may have two more water. Crossings. We got two more water crossings. These are, these are jump overs. That other one was uh, <laughs> heading into the Fugio. Looks like it's completely us. Lots of good campsite here. I wonder what this used to be, you know? I don't know, because I imagine it was here before, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we just look here. We're going to go in or do our stuff on the outside here? Here's the thing, and there's a campfire. <laughs> oh, you could use the fireplace, you can't do a campfire. Okay, I guess you can. It looks like it's working. It does. Yeah, it's uh, end of first day. What did we do? About 10 miles today? We did. And Part of it was extremely slow, straight up. 
Oh, that's straight up stuff. Yeah, but that was only about a mile, mile and a half. And then they were straight down. It was scarier. And, and rocks. In little, um, we did it, we did, your finger showing. My finger's showing. I'll right put there, my toothbrush down then. You'll see it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we walked, I guess the first half, the first four miles were really, really easy. And then we had a really bad river crossing was the hardest one. All the way up to the thighs. And then we had to walk up and down the riverbed for another three or four miles. And then we went up over a hill and found a freaky, beautiful, funny colored lake. Aqua color. It was gorgeous, like the pillow behind your head. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it really was. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah. Good. And then um, we puttered into this little thing for the night, and we're going to try and do, do have, what, 18 tomorrow, something like that? What? How many did we say we did more? 18? 16. 16. We can do 16. Yeah. So that'd be fun. All right. It um, looks flat. Right. And we had shepherd's pie for dinner tonight, that olives, was... pretzels, and some consomme. Yeah, and now we're going to bed, and we're going to get up really early and start walking again. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. Ah, uh, this is the trail here. So, it's been fording rivers for the last, I don't know, 10 miles, would you say? Eight miles? Oh, but we found a system. Yeah. Look at Karen's feet down there. We have found a system. Now, let me model for you. Oh, we God. have an outer layer of a foot. Hey. <laughs> I have outer layer of a foot. Do you want me to tell the secret? Just do it in regular English. Water sock underneath. Uh huh. And chili cheaters only. Oh boy. So, you can see over there, that's all water crossings. And we'll hit one here in a minute. This is the valley. It's just gorgeous this morning. It's just a bit windy. And it looks like we might get some water falling on our heads here soon. We have rain boots on. Yes, we do. Alright, so we can look now. It's where it gets interesting. A lot of valley walking. Looking for the next Karen or stick. Do you see one, Karen? Which way you guess? Which one do you guess? I think we're gonna end up that way anyway. Cross back where we Yeah, it was squishy. Oh, I see something flashing up there. I think I see those Germans. That's, yeah, that's them there. So, we came down the valley that way. It's been about six miles this morning. It's about noon. We'll probably get another 10 or 20, 10 or 15 in until then. It's been absolutely stunning the way. A little sleet and stuff coming through the past, but it seems to have gotten better. Let me flip it around here. Where we're going is these river crossings. We gotta change our, our shoes. I got my foot wet coming across it. And then we got those things over there. Doesn't look like much from here, but it's uh, knee deep and freezing cold and really fast moving. So we have to go real, real slow across it. We got two more crossings left in the trip. We've done about, I don't know, 35, but it is, you know, just beautiful. The sun keeps peeking up. Had a rainbow before that we named the uh, Shy Rainbow because every time I pulled the camera out, it disappeared, and every time I put the camera back, it came back out. It was the weirdest thing in the world. It was beautiful. So anyway, there's Karen. She's ready to go across. See, she's changed her footing to her. Ch Hold your foot up. She can't even hear. There you go. <laughs> anyway, give you an idea. We're we passed. Uh, four people today in the last six miles and that's it that's all we've seen the whole two days so we got a good good slug today and then another good slug up tomorrow we can probably get into Koike a day earlier than planned if the trail stays good that first day was slow but today should be good anyway I'm gonna sign it off and watch so Karen's getting the last of her gear she'll probably do a 360 before she gets up to make sure she hadn't dropped anything and she'll come schlepping across that's just a little teeny thing, but there's just like 20 of them. So you can just step in the water and she'll be fine. But you gotta understand, that stuff is freezing cold. The neoprene booties help. 
the neoprene booties pair of socks and water shoes is the socks we put on this morning and figured, ooh, that's much warmer. Anyway, I'm starting to freeze in the wind. I'm going to cut this off. Pretty here. Ooh. Trails are narrow though. I'm gonna turn this off. Ah, more absolute beauty of this place. We just crossed the wicked last river. Look how I can't even I have to put that up because that's level. That's up. The wicked beauty of I mean the wicked last water crossing Karen had a hell of a time with. She got grumpy. Almost bit my head off. Let me do a panorama of this one. Oh, it's pretty. What are we on today? About mile six or seven for the day? So about, that was region, yeah. about halfway for the day, maybe a third. We're trying to make some stone house. Stone house is 15 kilometers, did it say, or 16? Um, we're quite at 15 by now. 15 K. Do we get to the stone house? All it takes is a cloud to change the view. It's the same mountain we were looking at now. It's got that cloud blowing across it and it's just gorgeous. I guess we're going to go in between the in that ravine around that crack there. And that's where the trail goes. We got still 15 miles, 15 kilometers till camp today. No, we're down to 14 at least. And we're down to 14, Karen says. Okay. <laughs> Oh man. It's pretty, but we've been seeing this all day. Gorgeous. The thing is, as Jay noted the other day, it makes a sound every single day. It is so beautiful. Mm. Nobody's here to hear it. No. That looks better? No. I have no idea what's about to happen over this ridge, but every other one of them has been gorgeous, so we'll have to find out. busy looking at that wow. I didn't even see that wow. wow. Two more hours we can probably bust six more. A little less than six we got left. That's the camp we were scheduled to stay at but as you can see Billy Goat up there is blowing by it like it's not even there so we're gonna head down the hill the trail is really easy it's nice and almost like walking on carpet in some places so it's pretty incredible you know that is not a texas flag good morning world those mountains were not snow covered yesterday there's jay walking <laughs> Go ahead and say what oh, you did. Did I walk around the you middle? You walked of it. right in the middle of it. You'll have to do some editing. <laughs> yeah, that was that was. I didn't realize it snowed that much. I mean, well, we could, that's we pretty much what it looked like here. yesterday. Yeah, but then when you get up to the altitude, it's look at that. It's a good mess. I smell the campfire. I do too. And here is we we can't stay in here, but this is the stone house. We had to, we stayed right there. Yeah, well, you were able to for eight thousand pesos. Um, 
use the dining hall, which was quite nice to be dining hall. You mean the, warm. the room with the sink and the concrete counter? We had to bring our own food. Hey, there is a toilet in there that flushes and a shower, so I'm yeah. not complaining. Looks like there's a bridge over there. I'm wondering if we're going to take that today. Yeah, what's what, that? We're taking the road and walking out. Okay. Look at that beautiful. I would have filmed the suspension bridge. Look at this. So we wake up and you think that's all you see, but it goes up. Up, and I would say that's a little one. Yeah, it is a little one. Oh. So, well, I'll talk to you later. I'm ready to start. Morning. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. I need a hairbrush. We're in a little, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's called the Stone House. It's a place you can cook and spread out and eat, but you can't sleep in here. And it's uh, kind of warm and nice. And so, yesterday, I guess the first day we did what? eight, nine miles, and I was actually beginning to worry about myself because the last, in Vermont, we were only doing eight or nine mile days because it was so tough, but uh, yesterday we knocked out about 20, 22, something like that. So what do you think we did? I didn't realize it was, that's awesome. I think you're closer to 22. I think we did about 22, but the last two miles, I bonked at about 18, which is where my wall always is, and pushed through, and thanks to Karen yelling at me and making me go fast. We got here just before dusk. Uh, we'll show you more on the outside later, but it's uh, whew, it's been a beautiful trip, unstaggering with unreal. We're having coffee this morning. And coffee. We're gonna pack up all our wet crap and get out of here. Gear is loaded, kind of spread out right there. There's our little cooking thing yeah. and the bench. Um, yeah, we're gonna get out of here in a couple of minutes and continue on. So we are late getting out of camp this Yeah, about 10.30, but it, it, uh, there was no snow last night. But uh, Well, it snowed down here. We had, we had uh, sleet, but the mountaintops are all covered with, completely covered with snow back there. I hope we caught them. But right now, go all the way around. We are in the middle, in the middle of mountains all around us. Catch up. You're, I mean, uh, it, is, <laughs> Come <on>. it is crazy. <laughs> it makes so, me dizzy. Yeah, so it's, gorgeous. Yeah, it's nice. So, 16 miles today on a flat road, and we're out of here to the National Park. And oh, I want to say one thing about one of our second-to-last water crossings. It's the only time I got wet, and oh, that um, <laughs> it was, it, it just felt really weird because I hadn't gotten wet the whole time, and the water came up over my little knee-high glosh things, and it wasn't like a dump of water where you could just get used to it. It was a trickle of ice cold and you couldn't do anything about it because I was in the middle of the river. I had to get across. It was... Yeah, the water's probably 35 degrees. Freezing, freezing. cold. Freezing cold. So, but, but we made it across safe. But we, we, well, we toughed it out and we got rewarded with stuff people don't see. So, no buses here. You see that valley like in there. We came through there about 30 miles through that and we popped out here. Now we're on a, a roadbed following along the side of this river for about 16 miles but that was that was beyond beautiful in there but there was no snow there last night we stopped uh, right uh, where is it right down in there the other side of those trees and slept and uh, when we went to bed there was no snow up there and now there's snow we're in on day, what four in on day three and look at those snow covered mountains man I'm glad we got through those before the snow fell I'm sure we were down below the snow line but it would have been a booger if we weren't and we're following this road for 16 miles. We're about four or five in. You can see where we're headed up that that hill up there. That'll be interesting. I'll take a look back when I get there. I'm not sure whether we can catch them on video or not because they're out there. There's a couple of Wanaco. There he is sticking his head up. That's definitely Wanaco. Well, yeah. seem too scared. Hey, Mr. Wanako. <laughs> Look, there's one right there. Oh my gosh, and they are so pretty. Look at the white moon crescents on their bodies. Yeah, sticking their heads. Come over another ridge. 
ridge and it's just another incredible vista. It's amazing. Karen's offering me food, so we're gonna stop videoing. Yeah, I'm just taking a picture of the walk. I don't think they can hear anything because of the wind. But we'll see. Look at those Wanakos. Come around the corner, another beautiful view. That's just amazing. We're getting close to the end. I think it's the end of this lake down there, maybe a mile. You're funny. We're taking out. That doesn't suck. That's just amazing, huh? It's, it seems like there's a surprise over every big little teeny tiny hill, every corner you turn. Oh, look at that. There you go. Two Wanakos. Just grazing. I wonder how close they'll let us get. Oh, a bunch of them. Oh, wow. A whole bunch of them. Hello, Mr. Wanako. So night three on the trail, we walked into the headquarters of the National Park, and as you can see, it's not as, not as rough as the other places. Cheers. No. At least the puppy in there. And get under here, come on. Oh, here's your, oh no, that's the blanket. Are you filming? Mm hmm Oh, goodness gracious, why didn't you tell me? I thought it'd be Wait, fun. I have to fix my hair. Okay, Miss Mushroom. <laughs> so, what's tonight? This is our third night out. The first night I was in a, a cool little place and we walked nine miles to get there across like 30 river crossings and it was really freaky and they were cold and deep and fast. So I think the temperature is probably what, 35 degrees, 40 degrees of the water? Yeah, but we did a good job. You had to really concentrate when you walked across. Make mm. sure you don't cross your feet. Make uh, what everybody says is to go downstream, but I like the feel of going, of pushing my legs uh, upstream. Karen likes to fight upstream like a salmon. Yeah, but I can feel my So the second better. day we went uh, like 22 miles, which was totally cool because the last like eight days we've been hiking on long distance hikes. We've been on miserable trails and we can only get eight or nine miles in so we can actually do that. I was bonked at about 18, but we got in. And then today we did 16 miles and ended up in a really cool reservation. And we met the Chris Tompkins who deeded the park to the thing. It was kind of freaky and fun. And we ended up over here in the West Winds camp. Tomorrow we're going up and over the mountain to what? Co uh, Cochrane. Cochrane. And we don't know where we're going to stay in Cochrane, but I'm sure we'll find something. And then we got to find our way back out to Koike. And then to, anyway, it was a long way home. But, but it's been an absolutely amazing adventure mm. we were in deep 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 like nobody around at all and then we popped out after 22 plus 9 miles almost 30 miles after 30 31 miles into mm. a beautiful restaurant and it is time to sleep it's, it's 10 30 at night we're gonna blow out of here tomorrow morning early Good night. Oh, I've got to turn my head. Do I have my headlight off? No, yeah. you don't have your headlight on. You don't even oh, have it good. on your head. Mm, maybe I'm that, that good, tired. Good night. Good night. Let me see good if I can night. turn this thing. Good Where's night. the button? There. Good night. Good night. I don't know, 25 minutes into the morning. And uh, it's beautiful. We can kind of climb this ridge. we got to go up over that monster over there. But that'll take us into Cochrane. Karen is uh, making coffee. Because she's very down cold. Here. Karen was very cold, but we hiked but they, into it. But my fingers are back to working. Oh, that's good. I, I'm sweating on top. It's so bad. You know, I'm going to take my coat off now. It was my, my extremities yeah. were just so. not in a good way. Well, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, but I can still see my voice. Look. 
<laughs> Your voice? <laughs> it's right on the edge. It just stopped. stopped. We stopped 15 feet from where we stopped for breakfast. Okay, we got this beautiful little mountain stream coming out of the hills. There's no... Oh, son of a gun, I dropped something. Did you drop that or did I? You did. I'm sorry. That's okay. You got it? We're full now? No, we've got one more to go. You got one more? See here, so Karen's getting good water out of here. Those are filters on top, but it seems mm -hmm. insulting to the host to, to filter water here. Wash it off. And fill the cup up from the running stuff. Yep. And pour it in the bottle. And freeze your fingertips doing it, I'm sure. I can see your hand shaking. Oh, well, I'm going to stop the video. So, I don't know how well we're in the picture here, but I wanted to get the, the pretty camera. <laughs> stop. <laughs> and we're headed up, up that way. Amazing, huh? Seems to be, they've told us it's our last uphill. I think, Karen, we're going up there and down and through. Okay. I'm not sure though. Okay. <laughs> you got snow? I got snow. Yep. This is crazy that we're up this high. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. I mean, it's, oh a, my God. it's another one of those silly, I mean, we're, we're up in a bowl at the top, way at the top. I mean, we're, we're 4,000 meters up. And we're in this little bowl. It's warm right here. Yeah, I'd camp here. <laughs> yeah, golly. I'm worried that might be our trail there. Yeah, it probably is. Let's take a look over here and then I'll... Take a look at the rocks. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't suck. It's also getting up in the wind and cold again, though. Oh, the sun just went behind the cloud. That's what's going on. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's like it has a We just can't not take pictures. It's just so beyond beautiful up here. We think we're at the very peak of what we'll be doing, which was actually that little knoll back there. But you can see the Emerald Lakes down there and the Gosh, where do we start this morning? I can't even tell. I think we're down right in there. Right. Down in there. We we did come, we came through that slot up there, and then all the way down through here and back around enough to get out. But uh, it's beyond on well. Looks like there was more snow up there last night too. These have melted, but the ones in the back are just pure white. So anyway, we're headed down. So we've stopped along this ridge because we don't want to video while we move give you an idea of the vertical slope we're cutting across the face of it but uh, I'm going to turn very slowly it is cold up here it's cold and the sun, well, when the sun's out it feels okay but yeah, the wind is something if I drop the camera it's, it's gone forever so we're anyway I'm going to shut up now keeping warm is it's all temperature control here. You layers on, layers off. Sun's out. You're in the shade. It instantly gets colder. Poor Karen got stickers and cold fingers. That's the uh, traverse we just came across the side of it. You can see the trail kind of dug in there, and we traverse that. Oh man, that was something. Didn't feel That's unsafe. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. That was really cool. Pretty damn neat. Okay, so There's we snow. Snow over there, and we got a ridge we're going over. We're going to see something new. So I'll just tell you when we get there. So we came back through that ridge line. Another ridge. Another gorgeous view. Oh my goodness, look at that lake down there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, really Hopefully we'll get down past that pretty quick. I guess this is gonna, oh, I see how it's gonna take us down that little slope. Got it, I see that guy over there.
Yeah, well, you can take the coat off. Yeah. Burn up in that, but at least you get you warm. You'll probably be stopping, what, in a quarter of a mile for you to take it off? Probably. Yeah. So you're on film now. Oh, I'm whatever on film it is. now. Well, right. we've just had a lovely lunch. We are getting ready for our last push. Seven miles into Cochrane. Seven miles into Cochrane. We've got calories in us. We're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Bye. Bye. How do we turn this thing on here? <laughs> well, I thought we were going across that stuff. This isn't nearly as grand. Well, that's okay. But, okay, here we go. Watch out for the pile of poop. Oh. The trails in this part, what Tamanagi, however you say it, are not as nearly as well groomed and as followable as the uh, National Park, or the, at least the core of the National Park. So this section is is nice enough, though. It's certainly good. We got what six left, something like that. Huh. Well, I thought we were going across that stuff. This isn't nearly as grand. Well, that's okay. Watch out for the pile of poop. Oh, yuck. <laughs> the trails in this part, what Tamanagi, however you say it, are not as nearly as well groomed and as followable as the uh, National Park, or the, at least the core of the National Park. So this section is, is nice enough, though. It's certainly good. We got, what, six left, something like that. So, see that big old peak in the middle? We started at the base of that on the other side. We came up over that and back down. So we, oh, you know, you can't miss it. And down to this beautiness. That was a heck of a good day. We still got five, four or five to go. But, uh... We have traversed how many ecosystems? Everything is different. I mean, at first we thought it was the Rocky Mountains with a little bit of the Southwest thrown in with a glacier thrown on top of that. But you can throw in New England in the in the fall on top of that whole thing. It's just and East Texas in the middle. And not one single piece of litter at all ever anywhere. Not one twist tie, a pop top, can, even nobody's toilet paper. It was amazing. So gonna, I guess we turn around and hike out into town now. But uh, uh. I think we're into five miles. Yeah, we're there. under five. We're under five. So anyway, I don't think we're under five. We're into five. We're into five. Yeah. All right. Shout out to you later. So we're done. We just walked into a grove of Christmas trees of everything, but we've got about 300 yards to the ranger station. It was uh, what? Four days. Four of, solid days. Of yeah, 10 to 12 hours each day. Uh, 60 miles, 100 kilometers. First day was really slow in water. Second day was, wow, that was hard. That was beautiful though. Every time we turned a corner, it was just absolutely freaking amazing. And then... Um, Third day was our rest day, 16 miles. Yeah, Thursday was our rest day. It was 16 miles on a road. And you know what? It was a road that was nicer than most trails that I've ever been on. And then we plopped into the National Park and had a really good dinner in the restaurant there and met the lady that whose family donated it. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was neat. They used to run. She used to run Patagonia. Her husband used to run North Face. <sighs> and the whole park is getting ready to be opened up to tourism. So we got here just in time. One thing to notice, the section that was built by the North Face Patagonia people had a different sense of trail than the uh, Chileans. Some of the Chilean trails were just steep. But... Uh, that's well, it. the Patagonia trails were steep too. Patagonia yeah, but, Parque trails were yeah, steep Yeah, up in the very top, but they yeah. were, that was because the mountains were steep. Well, yes, yes. I mean, these guys were, I mean, I think we fell on, I fell on my butt two or three times, and mm -hmm. I know you did too, and I think I didn't fall a single time inside Parque Patagonia, That's but inside true. the other two sections. So. Anyway, we're going to go into Cochrane. And no, we're going, yeah, we're going into Cochran now. We're going to walk into Cochran. It's a couple miles if we can't catch a lift. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. We're going to get a hotel. We're going to buy some clean clothes because of all of our clothes smell like and some shampoo. Shampoo and fluffy pillows and a good meal. And we still got a couple days before we leave the country, so it'd be really.